we want to determine the limit. We have the limit of the rational function as x approaches three. As long as the rational function does not have discontinuity at x equals three, we can evaluate the limit by performing direct substitution. So let's go ahead and check this first. Notice substituting three in for x, the calculator says undefined, and that's because if we take a look at the numerator and denominator separately, we have the indeterminate form of zero divided by zero. This does not mean the limit does not exist, it just means we can't find the limit by performing direct substitution with the function in this form. We can often factor a rational function and eliminate the removable discontinuity so that we can then perform direct substitution to determine the limit. So let's work on factoring the numerator and denominator. Let's begin by factoring x to the fourth minus 81, which is a difference of squares. So we'll factor into two binomial factors. X to the fourth is a perfect square because it's equal to x squared times x squared. And 81 is a perfect square because it's equal to nine times nine. And one factor is going to be x squared plus nine and the other x squared minus nine. Now we need to be careful here. Notice x squared minus nine is still a perfect square factor and therefore we can factor again. So we'll still have the factor of x squared plus nine and then we'll have two more binomial factors. X squared is a perfect square because it's equal to x times x. Nine is a perfect square because it's equal to three times three. One factor is x plus three and the other is x minus three. And now let's work on factoring two x squared plus three x minus 27. This will be a little more challenging because the leading coefficient is not one and two is not a common factor. So if it does factor, we will have two binomial factors. The factors of two x squared are two x and x. And now from here, we'll place the factors of negative 27 in the second positions, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product is positive three x. So using trial and error, we place plus nine in the first binomial factor and minus three in the second binomial factor. Notice nine times negative three is negative 27, and nine x plus negative six x is positive three x. So the given limit is equal to the limit as x approaches three of, the factors in the numerator are x squared plus nine, x plus three, x minus three, and the factors in the denominator are 2x plus nine and x minus three. Now from here, notice how we have a common factor of x minus three between the numerator and denominator, which would result in a whole in the rational function, but remember a whole does not affect a limit, and therefore we can simplify here and use a simplified function to evaluate the limit. The given limit is equal to the limit of the rational function, where in the numerator we have the factors of x squared plus nine and x plus three. In the denominator we have the factor of two x plus nine. Of course, as x approaches three. Notice now, there is no discontinuity at x equals three, and therefore we can evaluate the limit by performing direct substitution. Substituting three for x, we have the square of three plus nine times three plus three, all divided by the quantity two times three plus nine. Let's go ahead and go to the calculator. The limit is equal to 7.2. If we want the fraction form, we can click on the circle on the far right, which gives us 36 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.